All right, let's go ahead and head on over to ppsspp.org. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, you're gonna see that the latest version of this emulator, as the recording of this video, is 1.13.1. Now you have the option to download the free version of this emulator, which is the blue download button, or you can buy PPSSPP Gold, which supports the creators. We're just gonna download the free version, blue button. And then you wanna scroll down until you see PPSSPP for Windows, and then you wanna click on download 1.13.1 zip, and your download should start. The file is now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. It will be in the format of needing to be extracted. I use 7-Zip to extract my files. If you guys would like to download 7-Zip, there will be a link in the description below to download 7-Zip. Once you have 7-Zip installed on your PC, come back to this file and you wanna right click on it, go to 7-Zip and extract here. Once you have your files extracted, let's go ahead and open the emulator. And it's gonna be the second one right here, which is PPSSPP64. Now the first thing we're gonna do is add our games to the emulator. Go ahead and click on browse and locate wherever you keep your PSP games. In my case, I keep mine on an external hard drive. Select the folder that contains the games and then click OK and your game should be loaded into the emulator. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to our settings. If we look to the right of the screen, you will see settings, and we're gonna scroll down to performance and look for render and resolution. Now you can crank your resolution up to 10 times, but if it looks like your game is having performance issues, then you may wanna scale back a bit. I'm gonna do halfway at five times. Now let's scroll down to texture scaling and look for upscale level. And we're gonna crank this up to three times. And the last thing is optional, which is show FPS counter. So if you would like to see what frame rate you are getting with your games, you can go ahead and click FPS, but I don't wanna see it, so I'm gonna leave it at none. Now let's go up to controls. And then control mapping. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. A wired controller will work as well. Just make sure when you're using a Bluetooth controller, you have a connection with your PC before you open this emulator so it can auto detect that controller. Now there's two ways to set your controller up. The first way is go up to clear all and it clears all of your buttons and allows you to set it up the way you want. So if we click on D-pad, click over here in this blink box, Go ahead and hit up on your D-pad to set up down. Hit down on your D-pad, left, left, right, whatever button you want to be O. Now, there's a quicker way to auto set this up as well. So go over to auto configure. You're gonna get a message saying auto configure for device and it's gonna show your device right here. In my case, my Xbox One controller is XI input. Now I'm not sure why it says Xbox 360 pad, but whatever it's gonna say for you, you wanna click that. And there we are, it mapped out my controller and I didn't have to do anything. Let's go ahead and go back. Okay, now we are ready to load up a game and I'm gonna load up Little Big Planet. Now, if you would like to make your game full screen, go up to game settings and go down to full screen. 